Hello, how you doing? How you been? So, as you can tell, I blow dried my hair and then I just did like, I just braided the sections and then I just took the braids out and voila. I don't flat iron my hair and I haven't flat ironed it for years. Um, I just started blow drying it again because for a while I was like, I'm just going to go fully natural. Like, I'm no heat at all because I had a lot of heat damage. But then I was I didn't want to get braids again. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to have to blow dry it. And I used that, um, I don't know the name of it, but I'll probably insert a picture of it too. That little brush blow dryer that everybody was raving about on TikTok a couple months ago. I got that, and oh my gosh, it has changed my life for the better. Anyway, I'm really happy with the growth. Like, I haven't, like, I, I, for a while, I was like, I got to stay away from, you know, growth checks and all that stuff, because I was doing really bad with that. But I'm almost at my goal length, so I'm, I'm real, I'm real happy, because if, let me see. Take it down. It's like right here. And I kind of just want where my thumbs are. That's where, that's my goal length. So I'm not that, not that far, you know, off. But this is my goal length for like basically my straight hair, I guess you can say. My, my natural hair, I don't really care. I actually love the, the, the way the shape, the fro is now. So, I feel like I already hit my goal with my natural, like, curly hair. I was stagnant at the shoulders for, like, a cool minute. So, it's, I'm, I'm loving it right now. I'm loving the volume. I think it looks good. And, anyway, let's get into <laughs> what this video is really about. So, lately, this topic has been coming up a lot. And, basically... The topic is friends. Since I moved out here two years ago, I have not created any friends in my age group, I guess you could say. Like, I do have friends out here. I want to say like three, about three. Friends like in the 40s, 40, 50s. The other two are... 70, 80, so <laughs> I don't have any friends basically that I can actually like go hang out with and do, you know, active younger people stuff with, you know what I'm saying? So I recently just got these new pair of boots that I've been wanting for quite a while and I found these at Ross. And what's really cool about these boots is it had this little tag on it. It says on the back, uh, bed foam. And basically this, the inside I think it is, is basically made from recycled mattresses, which is pretty cool. And it says that it won't compress over time, but we'll see. Um, and it says easy air circulation, so we'll see about that too. But anyway, I got these boots. And I really wanted to wear them out, but I work from home. I don't go nowhere except for, like, the grocery store every three weeks or something, you know. And then occasionally I go and go thrifting. But literally, I have no... I literally go nowhere. I have all these cute, beautiful clothes, in my opinion, and nowhere to wear them out to. I still wear some of these clothes on a daily basis, even though nobody be seeing me just cuz but it it would just be really nice if i did have at least two friends you know where we could go out and i'm not saying go get coffee i don't even like coffee but like i'm just like oh we could go to the bookstore chill there for a little bit have a little discussion drink tea you know i don't know i just it it is a little sad you know i don't got no friends <laughs> my age but there's like all these clothes and I'm like, there's all these different scenarios. I'm like, 
oh if i go here this is what i wear if i go there this is what i wear and i really like want to show these boots off that i just got but ain't got nowhere to wear them to so i was like why not just make a video <laughs> of me basically playing in my closet again and show off like different outfits that i want to wear out but like just don't have anybody to do it with or wear any occasion to wear them to and then also i got these boots a long time ago um i think last year have yet to wear them same thing and they even have like like dust collecting on them because like they literally just sit in the closet have never worn them brand spanking new so i was like yeah with these two boots I'm just gonna get put together the outfits that I would wear and then I'm just gonna say like where I can see myself wearing this stuff too and I feel like some people would be like well why don't you wear some of this like with your mans when y'all go out right now our work schedules are not compatible like he only gets Saturdays off completely and then half a Sunday I work weekends I only get Wednesday Thursdays off so right now it's just like we we did go to this cool little kick i want to i'm gonna call it a kickback type of thing um to his co-workers and we had like it was a wine tasting thing mind you all of them are in my grandpa's age range so it was still really fun though i had a great time and i did wear a cute little outfit out but even then it's like still i i have to i feel like when I go with him somewhere and we go to a place like that, like I have to kind of tone it down a little and I do too much. Like I still, you know, I still be doing me, but I can't do too much because, you know, they're in order to be like, okay, I'm like, girl, we're not going to the club. Like, why are you wearing them boots for, you know what I'm saying? So I realized my best friend groups are always in three. It's always me and two other girls, like that are my best friends and say like, High school, I had two best friends. College, I had two, like, I had different groups, but each group always had two main best friends out of those groups. So, I don't know. Hopefully, sometime soon, I get my new two best friends and we end up staying best friends for the rest of our lives and growing old together. But until then, I'm going to just make videos like this of me just playing in my closet and... Yeah. Okay, I have definitely been talking a little too much, so let's get into it. Well, you can do what you wanna, live how you wanna. Spin. I thrifted this dress back when I went on that little adventure by myself, and I really fell in love with the colors on the dress. But I really, actually, I really love the bottom of it, the way it like. I don't know what this is called. But it kind of reminds me of like the little jellyfish, off, no, the octopus, I think it was an octopus or a jellyfish off of Finding Nemo. Like, I just think it's so cute. And then, of course, my boots. And then, these are my favorite like leggings right now. So yeah, I got the boots from Ross. And I had to get these in a size 10, mind you. In shoes, I'm an eight slash eight and a half in women's, and then in heels, I get them in a size nine usually, um, just so I have like a little bit of room. But for these boots, they literally only had them in a seven or a ten, and they didn't have them anywhere else. And I was like, I've been looking for these boots for too long, and they're the perfect, you know, style that I want. I might as well, I'm just going to have to, you know, get the tens and throw some socks up in there. But I realized when I, if I put my, like, Dr. Scholl's insoles, if I put the insoles in, it kind of helps keep my feet up. So there's just a lot of space in the front, but my feet don't really slide with these insoles inside. So, yeah, your girl got chronic fasciitis. I like to put a black sh like not black, but like a shirt, a short sleeve shirt underneath it, just because I don't, I don't know, I don't really like the way the 
the top part is style is yeah designed or whatever there's this one necklace i would want to wear with it but the only thing is like it, it i feel like it kind of really goes except for if it had the the red was out of it if you take like the little red pieces out it would definitely go better with the dress but yeah i don't i'm not really um i try with the jewelry occasionally but i just keep it pretty plain and basic what you wanna be who you wanna i am really feeling this because i'm trying to say the yellow don't really the yellow kind of throw it off but I think it gives that nice little pop. You know, it gives that nice little contrast. So this is actually a dress. We're going to start off with that. This is actually a dress. I literally have the sweater, like, tucked in to this. used to be, like, the waistband on um, a pair of leggings um, for a bag. I probably would just wear... This little black bag to match the boots. So, like, to be honest, with most of the outfits, I just probably just wear this bag with the boots and call it a day. This is the dress that I had underneath that I was using that was like the skirt. So, it's pretty basic. Um, the top has like little frills on it, and then the arms do too, as well. Oh, and literally. I got Sandy a matching sweater. We cute, huh, Papu? <laughs> you mad at me? Don't talk to me. Don't. I feel like I'm, um, what is it from that 70s show? Like, this is, I feel like this is something they would wear. Okay. So I actually, I'm really feeling it with the white boots a little more because, I don't know, I feel like it's, it kind of like brings more, because it's just one big white stripe, and then the rest is like brown and nude, you know. I just feel like it makes it pop a little bit more. The only thing about these white boots though is they're a little more high than the black boots. Boy, if you don't get this is actually a skirt from my last video. Um, I think I actually like it better as a dress. I don't think like I'm not sure about this style to be honest. It's giving like I'm about to go to like a hold down or something like that. Um, just like with like this part, I feel like the the frilly part and then like the boots. So I don't think I wear it like this. Like with this belt and to be honest i still gotta tailor this thing sew it or whatever because even like this i don't know it's like it's not giving a it's not giving any shape right now i got it holding up it's getting held up by my that little waist thing um from those leggings that i had cut off but to be honest I, I feel like this would probably be better as a, a dress than a skirt because I don't know. I just feel like it would be harder for me to style it as a skirt. But, like, look how much extra fabric that is. I just got to figure out what I want to do with it. But I feel like if I had something like this where I could, like, just button this extra piece on and have it like that. And then maybe bring it in. I don't know. Maybe bring it in a little like this. Like, give it a little bit of a waist. It would be a lot cuter. Like that, like a dress. And then the extra material, I just, like, created a shirt or something out of it. Or, like, a vest. That would be cute. But I really just love the pattern on the skirt. I'm just so sad that, like, it doesn't fit. So, it's like, I can't really do much with it right now. I think, like, the white boots could go with this because there is white in in the pattern but then i feel like i would just have to 
like the white boots would be a little too much so, Spit what you wanna be. so the same goes for this skirt i would wear it more like a dress and actually i have this one be a little bit more form-fitting like this feel like this like as an actual dress I would be wearing the mess out of this like I feel like this pattern is just so cute once again I'm not a big fan of red but if the red is like subtle and not the main like focal point then I'm perfectly fine with it so who you wanna be So with this fit, I I'm gonna lie, I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling this. The only thing I feel is throwing it off is the shirt underneath. Like I feel like this shirt, if it was a like mock neck instead of this like big swoop neck, like it would look way better. It would look way better. But like, look at this. What? I was trying to figure out how, like, how, what to wear with this zebra jacket. Like, I am obsessed with this thing. It's beautiful. I love it. But I just don't, like, I don't know what to wear it with. What wear with it, you know, because I don't want, same thing with the whole pattern thing, don't want patterns clashing. But I feel like this is the fit for it. Okay, this black top underneath is actually a dress. I could wear it like this as well with some leggings with my leggings underneath. That would be cute with the black boots. It's all right. Not too bad. That was pretty fun. And then as far as friends go, like, I'm grateful that I do have... Well, I will see you on the next one.